the Goulburn is something I'm very proud of that we've actually answered the question. We proved the old anglers right, there were trout cod there. The Goulburn was of course the first river I was doing the research on. The genesis sort of, of the project became, oh, how can I get first hand accounts? And the answer's got to be find the oldest fisherman in the catchment. I got on a gentleman uh, who lived at Jamison, uh, which was right up the top of the Goulburn River. Max Matthews was his name, and uh, his father was a keen fisherman and grew up on the Hauqua River, and Max started spinning the same stories, you know, the rivers being full of blue-nosed cod and, and Macquarie perch, and he saw the changes in his lifetime, he saw them disappear. Uh, further down the river, I ran into somebody who uh, I'd met many years earlier, Russell Stillman of Alexandra. Russell was fantastic. He was in his 90s at the time, but had a terrific memory. Again, his family had been there a long time. He had a few photos, and Russell had all his stories of huge catches of Macquarie perch, trout cod and Murray cod. An interesting uh, uh, anecdote that comes from the Goulburn River was I was still trying to find more photos. I think photos are just powerful evidence. You can look at them, there's people looking back at you through time, the fish are there, the, the whole scene. And I went through the records of the State Library of Victoria and there was a collection of glass plates by a resident of Ale Alexandra called Lindsay Cumming that had been bequeathed to the library. All the plates had a title on them and there was one called Fish on Hooks on a Pole. And I thought, that's a photo of fish from the Goulburn Rivers in the 1920s. Oh, there might be trout cod, more proof. And uh, so I contacted the State Library and uh, I said, uh, you know, have you got the photo? And they said, no, we've only got the glass plates. They've never been printed. And so I had to order a copy of a print off the glass plate. I think it was $46, sight unseen. So anyhow, it arrived in the mail, you know, opened the envelope, it was a disc this time, put the disc in the computer, up on the screen, comes it off, and it's just an incredible photo. Most of the fish are trout cod, and it's a glass plate. The detail is so good, you can actually enlarge the photo and count the scales on the fish. And there was more proof. There's six fish in the photo, right? Four of the fish, without any doubt, are trout cod. The other two are cod, and can't be sure. There's glare on the, on the image. Right? So four out of six fish caught in the Goulburn in 1920 uh, were trout cod. Having got the photo, I rang up Russell Stillman. Oh, did you know a bloke named Lindsay Cumming? And he said, oh yeah, I knew Lindsay. Oh, I got a hold of a photo of this catch of cod from the 1920s. And he said, yeah, I know the photo. And I said, where was it taken? So he actually uh, told me the location. The fish were caught in an area called the Breakaway, which is where the Acheron River runs into the Goulburn. I got a lot of information on the Goulburn, I suppose it's my stamping ground, it was Ron Bain at Seymour. And he was, I think, 88, not out at that stage, and he's still alive. Ron recalled stories how, this would be about 1928, 29, that his family used to go up to Alexandra, put a boat in, and they would do a boat trip all the way down to Seymour, two or three days fishing. And he said just how much he loved it. And I, I said to him, what, what did you catch? And he said, oh, blue nose and brim. And it was the same story, he said, there were so many of these blue nose cod, trout cod as we know them today, he said, we did catch Murray cod, but you hardly noticed them in amongst all the, the blue nose. The, the, they were the prevalent fish. The other type of cod, the blue nose, was caught in Jamison. Very different head, looked like a cannibal, different colour and markings. A long dark nose that was blue, like the name, and marked different. My father showed them to me first when he caught a couple that were 15. In those hours. days it seemed impossible that mere fishing would overtake supply in the Goulburn River, which I fished at Molesworth, Capkin, Alexandra and Thornton. In these stretches of the Goulburn, in those days at Christmas and Easter, it was estimated that the campers numbered 500 to the mile of river. They came from Melbourne by train, and the local farmers carted their camping gear to the river, and I have no doubt profited considerably by doing just that. It would seem at the time I remember about 1937-38, a workmate told me a couple of years prior 
A group of fellas gathered after work for a barbecue and booze up at Picnic Point at Fraser Park on the Old Weir. They put in a gill net to get a feed and camp the night through. In the morning they couldn't retrieve the net, reckoned it was snagged. They backed the car down near the water and towed it. My mate reckoned every second mesh had a fish. What sort, I asked. Dunno, all colours and shapes. I was just the car driver, not interested in fishing. And I, I worked further down the Goulburn. Wally Cubbin at the, the Nagambi helped me a lot. Uh, the McLeod family had been professional fishermen and Graham McLeod was still alive. He was about 90. He had stories. So I got a very comprehensive picture of the Goulburn River fishery. And the final pieces in the jigsaw on the Goulburn were uh, newspaper articles from the National Library on many of the smaller streams uh, that went, were going back to the 1860s and 70s. And so we've now got a fairly complete picture of the Goulburn River fishery um, and probably the best set of photos of any river.